Good morning, my diamond. Sheila True Love here with you. Uh, I'm going to uh, share a video with you because I agree with this uh, young lady. You know, in terms of if you know you only you you're single until you're married, and and that's just the fact. And I always believe that you know women should and men should date more than one person because that's the purpose of dating. It's to determine who's right for you and who's not. So if you're dating this one person and you're putting all your eggs in one basket, that's not smart. Not to me. I'm not saying sleep around with anyone because I really don't believe that you should have sex with anyone until you have a ring on your finger. Whether it's a wedding ring or an engagement ring, and I only promote that to, 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 to see if you guys are compatible. You do that maybe once or twice. And if you're compatible, then you set a wedding date. You know? But let's listen uh, to this young lady. Okay, hold on. So tell me why my man... Okay, here we go. Why? There's no such thing as a side chick if you're just dating or in a serious relationship with somebody. It's only a such thing if you're married. That's it. So if you found out the guy you're dealing with is dealing with other women, it is what it is. Don't get all in your feelings. You need to be doing the same thing. That's the point of dating. You're trying to see who you're compatible with. This is why you need to have a backup plan because they got backup plans. If it don't work out with you, they already had somebody anyway on the side. They already had somebody before you, before they even met you. Y'all gotta think. See, y'all get way too emotional. Think, oh, this is my person, this is my person. He may not even think the same way. But he have you around because he wants to make sure. So he'll have you around if y'all if he knows deep down y'all really not compatible, but the sex is great, he'll be with somebody else that's compatible with him emotionally. And even if that girl doesn't work out with him, the one that's emotional, you know, emotionally compatible with him, he'll find somebody else to have everything. You need to do the same thing. That's the point of dating. You may be only sexually compatible with him, but not emotionally compatible. Financially compatible. Like, y'all have to think. There's no such thing as a side chick if y'all just dating. Sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> sorry not sorry <laughs> i love that that was so cool yeah but she's right honey uh there's no such thing as a side chick when you're dating and uh yeah you, the, like i said the purpose of dating anyway when i was raised as a christian it's it's supposed to be looking for your perspective marriage partner even though god knows i don't want marriage i would have never got married if i was didn't have a gun to my head being raised as a Jehovah's Witness, you couldn't just shack up. You got to get married. <laughs> Child, please. I would have never got married. But anyway, um, I appreciate what she said. Let me check out some of the comments here. Girl, I will never be faithful to no man. That's what I've learned. Wow, that came from Farah. Uh, Butterscotch says, right. When I feel my emotions rising up, I immediately do things to think more logical. Someone else says, yep, just like I said, single until you're married. Exactly. Uh, let me see what else. Let me read one more comment. If I am and I'm relationship and I got to have a backup plan, I'd rather be single if I got to have a backup plan. Well, you're a fool. And because you're a fool, you should stay single. Yeah, you should have a backup plan at all times, especially when you're dealing with these shallow, superficial, fickle, and imperfect men. I mean, come on. That's ridiculous. And I'm talking about if you're dating. And then the creator, she says, I know I said one more, but she says she's the creator, actually. Her name is Brill World. B-R-I-L-I-L -L World. I like her. She seems to be sensible. She says, even if you're in a serious relationship, that can change. I'm about the reality of dating, not the false idea and fairy tale that's being taught when it comes to dating. Personally, me, like I told you, I promote single because it's easier. You have more peace. Uh, I'm not a girl who's into drama. 
I don't want to be in the middle of chaos. Something's always jumping off. Something's always popping off. And, uh, and I'm not into giving up my freedom. I like being able to go and come the way I see fit. I don't want anyone telling me what I can do and what I can't do because last time I checked, I'm an adult. Now we're instructed to be obedient to our parents. And then as a wife, you're supposed to be submissive to your husband. At the same time, there's another scripture. When you look at Ephesians chapter five, uh, verse 21, it says to submit ourselves to one another. So what does it mean to submit to one another in Ephesians chapter five? To submit to one another means I give up my right to be right in every conversation. Instead of us having a lifelong battle, it's important for us to submit to one another. It's just not about a woman submitting to a man, according to the scriptures. So anyway, like I said, I promote singleness. I promote women being a part of a sisterhood, women supporting women and trying to uh, build each other up and to help each other heal. Because I know so many women have been through so much. And before they even think about being in a romantic relationship, they need to put in the work to get themselves healed and to build themselves up from the past traumas that they've had in their life. Anyway, my darlings, there you have it. Diamonds, diamonds, and again, diamonds.